if I'm going to get engaged in the politics of a nation, whether it's the United States or Canada, um, I can begin to see that involvement as politics as the solution to the problems of the country. And it's, it's, and it's very limited in what it actually can do compared to what the kingdom of God can do. And so I want to be so busy in the kingdom of God that I don't have time to really figure out who, who is the best politician to be, to be in power. And I think it's also a conflict of interest if the president of the United States is the commander in chief of the military, how can I be part of appointing somebody to be the commander in chief of the military when I just think, I mean, I, I can't participate. I, um, so then I think yeah. I'm in a conflict. I think I'm in a conflict of, of interest. Um, if I'm, if I'm voting and if I'm getting involved in the political, in the political process. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that is a really good point because if you're involved in the process of appointing a, the commander in chief, but that, but also holding to a stance of non-violence or um, radical enemy love or whatever, however you want to say it, and then say there is a war in the draft and that commander in chief now asks you to serve or requires you to serve and you say, well, no, that does seem like that's not consistent really right. at all. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I think that, um, you know, there are people then that say, well, you're just, uh, you're just benefiting then from what the rest of us are doing. And, you know, we're, we're getting involved politically. And so the whole thing of, uh, of, well, if good people do nothing, then evil reigns. And so if you don't vote, if all the good people don't vote, then we're going to have bad politicians. Right. Mm. And, um, but it's not a, it, it's not a, a, an either or situation. It's not either I vote, like I can do other things. Um, so I can be active in my community. I can be doing things that will bring change to my community. I'm not engaging in the political system to bring change, but I'm getting involved in like a food bank. I'm getting involved in, in a fire department. I'm getting involved in, in things in the community where I'm having an impact on the community and I'm engaging with the homeless community or whatever it is. Um, so it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm a good person doing nothing. I'm a good person doing things, but it's not, it's mm -hmm. not the political things. And so it's not like, well, it's either politics or nothing. It's like, yeah, good people need to do something, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be politics. There are other ways to bring change mm -hmm. to the, to the world. And I think that the other things are actually probably more lasting, have mm -hmm. more long-term lasting effects than than politics. Um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if, if we're not doing anything, if we're not willing to expend our energies and perhaps even put our lives at risk for the sake of the kingdom of God, then the accusation that we're just benefiting from what other people are, are doing is, is justified. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Um, because, yeah, I've definitely heard that, too. I mean, diff different service members and things, you know, like, well, hey, you, you guys are getting a free pass from all our hard work to, yeah. of maintaining this this system of, of the uh, country of America, essentially. Um, the other thing we have well, to recognize, though, is that uh, the practice of our faith and the wealth and the, not the wealth, but the, the well-being and the welfare of the church is not dependent on a particular political system. That's it's, an excellent point. So, yeah. so people say, mm -hmm. well, you know, the country is, you know, going, you know, into authoritarianism or into mm -hmm. communism and, you know, it's going to be really bad. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. The church has prospered under some pretty adverse political systems. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we don't need to protect a certain form of government or a certain system of government in order for the church to be healthy and mm -hmm. 
and to, to prosper. And so it's a bit of a fallacy to think that we really have to fight for our, our political system and we really have to fight for our religious mm-hmm. freedoms or, or the church is going to be you know, extinguished. No, it's not. Uh, it might actually be really healthy under a, under an adverse political system. 